pictures. Just to fix it back after we get another YouTube video. This time I'm working in the house. It's 98 degrees, kind of cool on, and of course the floor is blowing out of it. So I went off and the one thing the pump wasn't working. This is the pump. So I took the pump out. The pump just plugs into the unit. So I took it out and the turbine wasn't spinning near the water. So this top right here, this top comes off. Take it out of the wall. Inside. Make sure that this is unplugged and sealed because water and electric is not mixed. You can get very easily. I take my lubricant and there's a spindle part on it. This is the corner fan. You're going to spray right on here because it's. Okay, spray some lubricant. Alright. After that, again, safety first. Plug it in and it's spinning. So that's good. It wasn't spinning before. You also may have to spin it by hand to get it going. So that's that's done. Put the top back on. Got little hooks here, little hooks into it. Back on, it's unplugged. Next, what I did, I filled the sink with two inches of water right here. Check it out, and I stuffed the I stuffed the pump in here. Okay, and I let it run. I let it run for like 30 minutes. To make sure it was going to keep running. As you can see, it's running well. Okay? It's going to take a while for that uh, lubricant to work itself in. Hopefully the pump will keep running. Just because you fix it, it is old and it had calcium deposits all over the unit. It may break. Now I'm going to take you upstairs and show you what the inside of the unit is like. I'm back. Alright, so I'm up on the roof. This is what the inside of the unit looks like. I took my compressed air and sprayed out the bottom here, but as you can see, there's still more stuff. This is what the insides look like. It's terrible. So I bought new inserts right here. Make sure you get the proper size. And then I put them in as replacement. So this is where we're at. We're going to take an unhook these holders right here. Out of the way. These things are really nasty. They have calcium deposit, salt, whatever it is. Out here in the desert, you see the salt mines all over. Not, it's uh, not a surprise to see crossing the deposits. Let me get rid of this. So I'm going 
gonna take my new insert and place it in here, but first... I'll take my compressed air. It's always good to have access to compressed air. Cleaning this stuff out. Out. Okay, on the top you'll see the, the well for the water. You're going to have to take and get yourself a wire brush because the pump pumps the water up to this well. And then you want to clean this out. Clean out the well. All these holes. And then you're going to blow it out with your pressure. Do all these inserts, and then I'm going to put the pump back together, and then I'm going to turn the unit on and see how it goes. Stay tuned, folks. Don't go nowhere. So, as you can see, I reinstalled the pump. I have the dial downstairs on pump only, so I just plugged the pump in, as you can see. So now the pump is running great. All the spots. All the trowels are wide open and they're feeding the water down through the inserts, which makes the humidity and the coolness for the unit downstairs. So, the, the uh, fan worked perfect, so I'm assuming I'm going to install this last piece and turn the unit on and it should run good. Okay, so most of the time, instead of running for parts, I try to fix it. Fortunately for this unit, this pump just needed some, some oil and needed a little help, a little push. We got that going. And all the inserts are brand new, so the thing should cool pretty well now. Any questions, guys, leave them in the comments. Thanks for coming and watching my videos. Like and share. Coming at you.